happy Sunday. And thank you for watching our Sunday School again. My name is Regina Reed. And this is the book that we use for our Sunday School. Antioch Missionary Baptist Church in Maven. And let's get into this lesson. So, and I always just recommend, well, I'm going to ask you to do this. I need you to rate and subscribe. Because the more subscribers we have, the more we'll be seen. And um, we're, we're trying to reach as many people as we can with God's Word. So if you would, rate and subscribe. And I always ask everybody to read the verses yourself. Because I only, I like to just go over the verses and kind of tell you what each verse meant. So read them yourself. And today's lesson is the boy Jesus. The introduction is raising a child star. And it talks about Shirley Temple and some other child stars that we've seen and heard on TV. And it was saying how hard it is on the parents to raise a child star because you don't raise a child star the same way you raise just the average child. And it says, how can a caring parent ensure that the child's life is normal? You know, it, it's a lot of pressure on that parent to try to raise them normal. Especially with the child being in the limelight all the time, just like Jesus, the boy Jesus was. Lesson context. The first part of the, the first two verses of this lesson comes out of Ecclesiastes, which is an Old Testament book known as the Book of Wisdom. And this literature was written by Solomon. And the purpose of the, our, the purpose of us as humans is to remember our Creator. And I recommend that you read the whole book to get the real understanding of Ecclesiastes. The second lesson text in this lesson comes out of Luke. And Luke and Matthew are the only two, in two, only two writers who mention the boy Jesus, this story about Jesus' parents and about him when he was a boy. Uh, Luke tells about the birth of John and Jesus and how they are together, how they were born, they were, well, you know, at the very beginning, before John was born, Jesus was, uh, Mary was carrying Jesus, and John leaked in his mother's womb when his mother came in the house. So they had been connected before birth, and how their lives stayed connected, because this was God's plan to closely link them together. The first part of this lesson, is the first section is wisdom. In season, it's Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verse 1, and verse 7b. And the second is wisdom's exceptions. And that's Luke, the second chapter, verses 39 through 52. So the first verses says, The wise person understands the cycle of life, and they live in harmony with it. Even the, the burdensome and painful parts of it that we cannot change. But this is where the serenity prayer comes from. Verse 7b. We have many occasions when we do speak. But there are times when we don't need to speak. Sometimes when people are really sick or when someone has passed away. Sometimes people just need your presence. They just want you to be there. Maybe to hold their hand. Maybe to cry with them. But they don't really need you to say anything. Because I know a lot of times when somebody loses a loved one, a spouse or a child or, or even a parent, sometimes people will say that have never lost a spouse, a child, or a parent, I know how you feel. And a lot of people get offended by that. I just know that when a person says that, they're trying to, they're trying to console you and they don't know what to say. So I don't take it that bad, in a bad way, but some people do. And so, if you don't know what to say, just hold her hand, just cry with them, just hug them, just, you know, well, once this COVID is over, hug them. But just let them know that you're there and that you care about them. And that's really, that's what that's saying. All right, the second outline is wisdom's exceptions. Verse 39, because Jesus' parents knew who he was before he was born. They knew he was a unique baby. They followed every law to the letter that you do with a firstborn child. And the first 12, the first 12 years of Jesus' life were relatively normal. You know, like a regular child. They were raised in Nazareth. All right, verse 40. 
the, Jesus grew up in a special way, like Samuel and John the Baptist. They they were different children, and his the only difference they mentioned with Jesus was they highlighted his wisdom. Jesus knew God's word. He was born with God's word already in him. All right, verse 41. Jesus' parents traveled to Jerusalem every year for the Passover. What is the Passover? I'm glad you asked. It was an annual festival given to Israel by God to celebrate Israel's deliverance from the Egyptian slavery. Verse 42. Jesus was the age of boys who would be ready for a bar mitzvah. What's a bar mitzvah? I'm glad you asked that too. It's the age that a boy becomes a man, and it's a Jewish uh, tradition. But this was before the, that was a tradition. Verse 43, the Passover was actually an evening meal. It was a feast. It lasted for seven days for of a, they had seven days of additional celebration after the, the Passover meal. And the Passover meal was unleavened bread, the Feast of Unleavened Bread. The Feast of Unleavened Bread was when the children of Israel were leaving Egypt, and they knew they were going to leave that night. So they didn't have time to wait for the bread to rise. So the bread was flat, like a cracker, I guess, and they had to eat fast. They ate with their shoes on. So when it was time to go, they all got ready to go. So that's what this feast was, the first night of Passover. So Mary and Joseph, with thousands of travelers, began their journey home the next day because they had been there, they were going back home, and they didn't know that Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem. Verse 44. A lot of communities travel together. We know it's safety in numbers. We told that when we were young, we told them who we were old. It's always safe to have another person with you. So they traveled in communities when they went to these uh, feasts and celebrations. And uh, they had went a whole day before they noticed that Jesus was missing. Verse 45. And when they didn't find him among their family, the kinsmen, they asked everybody. Then they uh, had to go back to Jerusalem to look for Jesus. And they wanted to get there before dark so they have time to search for him. So they had traveled a whole day. And they had to go back a whole day to look for him. Verse 46, after three days, they found him in the midst of doctors and lawyers having a deep conversation with them. Verse 47, Jesus was talking with the experts on Israel's scriptures. And many boys his age were just learning the scriptures, but he was discussing them. There's a difference in having a discussion about something and just repeating something that you heard. Verse 48, Jesus did something that was not normal. They they were afraid. His parents were afraid. And I was thinking I would have been afraid. I would be afraid right now if I was without Jesus for three seconds. They were without Jesus for three days. And they were afraid for him, which I would be afraid for myself if I was without Jesus for three days. Verse, verse 49. Jesus called God Father, and this is not something they did in those days. It, it was too personal. Um, so that knew that he was unique and divine, and his parents knew he was. He said he came. He had to do the work of his father, and he did not mean he, carpentry work. He meant he had to do the work of salvation. So he was talking about his heavenly father. Verse 50. This is the first time, and not the last, that Jesus, what Jesus says does not make sense to listeners. God's wisdom and knowledge of God's plan challenge everything that we, that we believe. We don't always understand what God is doing when he does it, but he knows what he's doing. And verse 51, they went down to Jerusalem. And the reason they said down is because Jerusalem was at a summit of the Judean highlands. So everything was like a downward incline. And all the roads going were going down in a downward elevation, I meant to say. We were going down. Jesus' ministry began about the age of 33 years of age. And he did not do this again. It didn't say what he did, what happened, what they did to him for, for staying back. And they didn't know. But he didn't do it again. And I'm sure he felt their pain, the reason he didn't. That's the end of this lesson. And our conclusion, Luke shows Jesus' uniqueness in how Jesus went 
against regular wisdom as he spoke in the temple at age 12. For us to expect to do only and always the unusual is not God's way. Expect the world to scold us for going against its expectations as we continue to follow the surprising direction of Jesus' footsteps. In our prayer, Father, challenge us to grow in your wisdom as Jesus grew. In his name we pray. Amen. And our thought to remember, being about our Heavenly Father's business is our task, no matter what. Thank you all for listening to our lesson. And I do want to say, continue to wear your mask, continue to keep each other safe, and let's continue to pray for each other as we get through this pandemic. Thank you, and God bless you.